I have four brand new custom Garbage Pail Kids flipbooks to show you guys, and we're gonna be coloring two of them in this video. And of course, since this video is about Garbage Pail Kids, you know it's tradition now that every time I make a Garbage Pail Kids flipbook, I have to choose some vintage old Garbage Pail Kids gum from the 1980s. This gum is now 34 years old, so watch till the end for that. For this flipbook project, I teamed up with Garbage Pail Kids artist, Joe Simcoe. You might remember Joe collaborated with me on my last Garbage Pail Kids video, and he painted this Garbage Pail Kids portrait of me. I'm also collaborating with animator Nikki DeSico for this animation. I'll link to her uh, Instagram in the description below. You should go check out her, some of her animation work. So Nikki created the four original pencil animations for these flipbooks, and then Joe Simcoe and I are each going to pick one of these flipbooks to color. Where the idea for these four flipbooks came from is uh, the, the Garbage Pail Kids team at Tops. They've been making a series of stop motion animated shorts and their most recent was written by Adam Goldberg, creator of the Goldbergs TV show. Anyway, their latest stop motion short series is called Mad Mike Fury Load. And so the, the Garbage Pail Kids characters, they're all driving these crazy cars that are like a mashup of Mad Max and Garbage Pail Kids. Uh, for example, they have Leaky Lindsay driving the snot rod, uh, Nasty Nicks driving the, the chiller coffin, Mad Mike driving the grime buggy, and New Wave Dave driving the tagging wagon. So they sent me these photos of the actual vehicles that they do their stop motion animation with, and then uh, we were able to use these photos as reference in making our flipbook animation. In the latest episode of Mad Mike Fury Load, uh, these four flipbooks are shown during the end credits of their new short. So if you're seeing them here first, I'll put a link below to where you can go watch the full Garbage Bell Kids short. Okay, so let's take a look at these four animations. So first we've got this flipbook of Mad Mike, driving the, the grime buggy, which is like a big Frankenstein garbage truck, big jet engine on top. And then we've got Nasty Nick driving his coffin vehicle. Hits a bump in the road, and then he and all the bats come flying out. Uh, there's New Wave Dave driving his tagging wagon, sp spraying paint all over the street, skidding around a corner, which I think looks awesome, and then, psh, you know, spraying his paint directly at the camera. Okay, and then this one, despite being really gross, is pretty awesome. We've got Leaky Lindsay driving her big tissue box on wheels, her car engine, it sneezes, she sneezes, it's disgusting, uh, and then she goes speeding off into the sunset, leaving a trail of slimy, steaming green snot behind. So yeah, they're gross, but hey, I left a disclaimer at the beginning. All right, well, it's time for Joe and I to each pick one of these flipbooks to color. I talked to Joe and he wants to color the Tag and Wagon flipbook. So let's ship these cards off to him and watch a short montage of Joe Simcoe coloring. Let's color. So Joe Simcoe has been a Garbage Pail Kids artist since 2009, so he has lots of experience coloring, and I've got Joe here now, so he's gonna share a few tips for you guys. Hey guys, this is Joe Simcoe, one of the current Garbage Pail Kids artists. For this flip book, uh, how long did it take you to color it, and just kind of how was it? <laughs> yeah, when I first got these pages, I was like, this is gonna take some time here, but it went, I would say, about what I expected. I thought I'd probably be done in a day. I think it took about two days. I used uh, my marker uh, style for this uh, just to get that nice sketchy quality. I think I, and then at the end of the marker coloring, I I add a little bit of white uh, paint splash, splashes here and there just to create some motion on the tires. So the markers I use are uh, a brand called Chart Pack Ad Markers, sort of like, like these big beefy big juicy markers that I was using back in the days when I was doing storyboards and I just got so used to doing them for years and I thought they'd be perfect for this. And do you, do you have any general tips for coloring with markers like this? I always have another piece of paper on the side and kind of like always do a, a bit of a, like a, just a test out real quick to see how dry or juicy that marker is. So, so it doesn't just bleed everywhere. The road is like a several layers of coloring. I, 
I laid down a uh, crystal blue is the <laughs> first color. And I did it just basically in a streaky style. And then there's a, a gray called a basic four gray I laid down next. And then a black that was basically a dried black marker. But I had a second black marker that was all juiced up. So what I do is I kind of scrape some of the juice off onto the dried marker so that I have just enough on the dried marker to, to give it a little bit of a hit of color. And it gives it that nice fade, dried fade across the road. Just like, this is the dry one, get some charge on it. And then I'll just, and then I'll get some paper and yeah, and then I'll just like, and it, so it's, it's enough juice, but then it slowly winds up drying out really quick. Mm, that's really cool. I mean, I know it's gonna be all fast and quick. There's like a 10 second <laughs> sequence and it might go by really fast, but I did that for every, every frame. So yeah, this has been really fun to work on. All right, now I'm going to color Nasty Nick's Chiller Coffin. I think it's a really cool vehicle. Um, my coloring, I, I'm, I'm probably not going to be as good as Joe, but hey, I'll give it a shot. Don't my fingernails look great? Actually, these are Lori's hands. She uh, She's helping me do some of the coloring. All right, and now back to my hands for the rest of the montage. And that is it for coloring. Let's check out these two colored flipbooks. And then I will once again subject myself to chewing some 34-year-old Garbage Pail Kids gum. Because that's what I do whenever I make a Garbage Pail Kids video.
All right, guys, and now the moment I know you've all been waiting for because it's tradition now that every time I make a Garbage Pail Kids video, I have to chew a stick of old vintage Garbage Pail Kids gum. Uh, so because we did four flip books, uh, I figured I would do four pieces of gum. So this gum is a uh, vintage 1987, which means that they are 34 years old today. Last time I tried these, it wasn't so great. Uh, let's do it again. We'll do four times as much. I'm just gonna do all four at the same time. I'll lean in close to my mic so you can hear the crunch. I should have brought in something to spit in. It's just as bad as it was before. <laughs> It just turns to powder. It doesn't turn rubbery or gum-like. It just turns to powder. Mm. Well, that's it. Four pieces of garbage bill gets gum. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. I'm going to go spit now. And if you want to subject yourself to some more Garbage Pail Kids grossness, you can go check out Mad Mike Fury Load, where these flipbooks are featured in the end credits. So I'll put a link to that below. And if you want to make some flipbooks yourself, you can get all my supplies and my flipbook paper at andymation.com.